Hi everyone, uh, today I'm just going to be reacting to Storytime Animated and Darman videos. So the first uh, Storytime Animated video, video sorry, we'll be reacting to today is There's a real life impostor in my class. And yes, I said impostor like that. I don't know why, don't ask me. So, I, I don't know what to say anymore, let's just start it up. Now, I'm sure you've all heard about the game Among Us. If you've been living under a rock and have no clue what I'm talking about, Among Us is a game where 10 crewmates live on a spaceship. The catch is, one of them is an imposter, I think and the imposter's will. job is to kill off each crewmate without being caught. On the other hand, the crewmates must complete their tasks while trying to find the imposter uh, and not get killed. Okay. It's a pretty fun game, up in a Fuck really you. rural oh. area. There wasn't much around. The closest city was hours away, and my neighborhood was really small. I knew okay. everyone, and everyone knew me. My class was also very small, so with only nine kids church. in total, including my best friend, Jeremy. Jeremy and I did everything together, and he was more like a brother than a the friend. Stock School was pretty sound. much normal. We had assignments, did work, got detention, you know, the usual stuff. Jeremy and okay. I stuck through it all together, and I was so glad to have him as my best friend, because he made such boring things become a lot more fun. Not much happened in our town. There wasn't much crime because everyone knew each other, and that would be like stealing from your own family. It just didn't make sense. Sometimes I wished something exciting would happen, but I should have never made so, such a careless wish. Hold on, what? hold on. I'm gonna make I, I'm gonna make a prediction. His friend is the imposter, and he's been killing off his classmates. Boom! I probably got it right, didn't I? One day, a new student came. Also, what happened? What's up with her eyes? I mean, just look. Look at those bags. Into our class. The teacher introduced her as Abigail, and she looked like a really shy girl. I looked away as she I sat mean, that's not raggy, it's just dirty. down, and I made a face at Jeremy. Jeremy chuckled. He understood how I felt. Continued our Freaking studies, cool. except we had a new this. kid among us. She didn't speak. Oh, she, he said the word. He said the he said the funny word. He said among us. Much in class, she pretty much kept to herself. But then something happened that changed everything. Okay. One of my other friends, Michael, didn't turn up for class suddenly. When killed. our names were called in the morning, his voice was absent. I was surprised. As far as I was concerned, Michael had never missed a day of school. He was quite academic and wanted perfect attendance at school. It's just copy and paste the same, uh, I would say sprite, but this isn't a game. The same character over and over again, all the desks. One time, he tried to come same after he had just had surgery the day before. But his parents, as well as the school principal, managed to persuade him not to come if they marked him as present anyway. You can imagine my shock when Michael wasn't in class. Was he okay. sick? Something terrible must have happened to him to make him miss school. Jeremy, where's Michael? I whispered to Jeremy while the teacher was still calling names. I don't know, replied Jeremy. He looked concerned. Should we go to his house and see what's wrong? I asked. Sure, let's go after school. Hi, Mrs. Johnson, I replied. We were just wondering if Mike. Did he say Johnson? I think he said Johnson. Hold on, I'm gonna go back. Is it? She said to me. Oh, hi, Mrs. Johnson. I replied. Oh no, he said Johnson. My bad, my bad. We were just wondering if Michael's all right. <laughs> Michael's mom closed her eyes, and to my horror, I discovered that she was crying. <laughs> and let me guess, he was dead. He was stabbed. Or Michael shot. is missing. Jeremy, with wide eyes. Missing? Asked Jeremy in shock. Michael's mom nodded. Since this morning, that was the police are- She moved her head from side to side. We're here. Have you- have you any news about his disappearance? Do you know where he could be? I shook my head Oh my god, it's a weird mobile game ad. Skip. I'm sorry, Mrs. Johnson, I don't. I hope you find him soon. Michael's mom looked down in disappointment. That's okay, Luke. Thank you. Imagine if I get she that- She closed the door and Jeremy and I walked away. Later. We were so shocked by this sudden turn of events that we hardly spoke on the walk home. If there had only been that one disappearance, I may have been able to move on. Sure, it was absolutely terrible that Michael was missing, but I was willing to move on with my life. That is, until the next victim turned up. Okay, who's it gonna it be? had been a week since Michael's disappearance. We were sitting in class waiting for the students to fill in, but I noticed that there were only eight kids. I realized that Emily was missing. Mr. Oh, Layson, no. Emily isn't here. I raised my hand and told the teacher. Mr. Mr. Layson looked Layson. around. And, what a name. What and a name. I thought I saw fear flash across his eyes. That's not I funny. see, he oh, said nervously. That then fear. he called someone on the phone and I noticed that his eyes had widened. 
I felt my stomach plop into his hair. Plummet with terror. Point Abigail, that new and kid Abigail. I told you about, entered the room. There was something about Ooh, her that, that face. Terrified. I don't know whether it was the blank face, stare that or face, her that strange face, appearance, that but she gave me the heebie-jeebies. Heebie I made sure I stayed away from her. He said heebie-jeebies unironically. <laughs> her for okay. the rest of the day. Okay. Unfortunately, my fears were confirmed. Emily had disappeared. She had left her house that morning to walk to school, but uh, she must she have disappeared on the way there because she never made it to school. I, I was getting really suspicious of Abigail. Okay. It seemed too coincidental that she turned up at our school and suddenly two students went missing. Mm. I was super sauce of her and I really believed. She said super sauce of her, like this is a game of Among Us. My she God, had something to do kid, with it. This kid, this I decided kid. to talk to Jerry about my suspicions. Even. I think Abigail may have something to do with Michael and Emily's disappearance. I said to Jeremy while he was over at my house one evening. Wait, I just, I just realized something. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Really? He said. Why? It seems like too much of a coincidence that Abigail suddenly turns up and two students go missing. You know what I mean? Watch, she's going to like be outside. I was outside scared. The window Jeremy would start thinking I was a freak. But to my relief, he agreed with me. Luke, I've been thinking the exact same thing, he said. I think we should investigate it more, figure out if Abigail is behind all this. I honestly think there's an imposter in our class. An imposter in our class. Okay, by the way, did, did this happen when Among Us was already a thing, or is this just like... And I know I say did this happen, but I know for a fact these aren't real. None of these stories are real. My blood run cold. This was starting to get really scary, but I nodded my head anyways, and we made a plan to spy on Abigail. The next day, we followed her home from school. Her house? Ugh. I mean, don't you think that you should be less obvious that you're spying on her? It was actually very close to my house, which scared me even more. What I saw made my jaw drop. Abigail was in the living room and she was holding something in her hands. And I remembered oh, that something. Among us! Among us! Look! So you have the little head, then you have the eyes, then if you draw some feet, it's an Among Us character. Was Ooh. Emily's backpack. That's right, Abigail was holding <sighs> Emily's backpack. Emily, the one who was missing. I recognized it because it was bright green and had stickers on it. I would recognize Emily's backpack anywhere. I was never so sure of something in my life by that point. I truly believed Abigail was the imposter, the one who was behind these kids' disappearances. Okay, so I'm go to the police and have them arrest Motion to Jeremy, something. and we fled the scene before we were caught spying. Should we go straight to the police? I thought that it may be wiser to wait and see if we could catch Abigail red-handed. After all, okay. we didn't want to tell the police if Abigail could get away free of charge. We needed to make sure she would be arrested for sure. And so, we waited. Big mistake. What the next day at school, hair? four kids were missing. Crazy, right? Wait a minute, it was two, Wait a minute, it was two kids missing. So, what happened? Okay. There were only four of us left in class. Me, Jeremy, Abigail, and this one other kid whom I didn't know that well. I was practically shaking with fear. Jesus I kept Christ looking at faces. Abigail, thinking she was going to lunge at me or these something faces. and attack me. I didn't want to walk home. Abigail lived very close to me. And what if she ambushed me while I was walking home? I didn't wow. want to disappear like Michael and Emily and the others. And so I asked Jeremy if I could stay over at his house that night. And thankfully, he let me. We arrived at Jeremy's house and headed to his room. We like, what, is Abigail going to try and break the door down or something. We were sitting in there for a while, talking about our suspicions of Abigail and how we might catch her, when I heard a noise come from downstairs. So it's screaming. It sounded like shouting or something. What was oh, that? It's gonna be I Abigail. Asked. She's gonna what? be like, replied Jeremy. brandishing a knife it or like, a like gun It sounded like it came from the basement. Don't the worry basement. about it, he said. I was sort of worried. What was that noise? Sorry if you just noticed the cut. I accidentally closed the video. So let's just continue, and as I was saying before, now kind of leading toward his friend being the apostle, the strange like noises. Abigail and I went downstairs, together. making sure to step on my tippy toes so Jeremy didn't hear me from the bathroom. I went over to okay. the basement door and headed down the staircase. The noises were a lot louder now, and I was sure someone was shouting. 
When I made it down, Clark, I turned the light like on. What I saw basement? shocked me to my core. It's his friend there was Clark. a cage, a yep, huge I cage, and inside were all the missing students. Wait a minute, you could just walk out of the bars, like, huh? That Emily, looks Michael, like the easiest all... cage to escape ever. All the others, they were all locked in this cage like prisoners, in my best friend's basement. Also, she's looking both left and right. There's, she's facing. I shook out. my head and rubbed my eyes, thinking I must be hallucinating. This didn't make any sense. Why would they be in Jeremy's basement? And that's when it hit me. Oh, so his name Jeremy, Jeremy was the imposter. Suddenly, I heard footsteps behind me, and Jeremy appeared. So you found out said Jeremy. He had some rope in his hands. Yeah, I Jeremy? think I... I stammered. Suddenly, Jeremy lunged forward and grabbed me, tying me up with the rope. Jeremy tied me to a chair, and despite my protests, I was now trapped. Red lights started flashing in the basement, and a speaker was turned on. A voice spoke through the speaker. So it's like and the that is the end of the Among Us Game Show Student Edition, said the voice. Suddenly, a man dressed in a suit, as well as some Among cameramen... Among Game Show Student Edition... <laughs> I had a feeling something like this is gonna happen. This came into the basement. It looks like Jeremy has won the game, the man said into his microphone. Yes! Jeremy pumped his fists into the air. He's freaking I was so stunned. I didn't know what to think. Also, but then Jeremy glanced before. at me and smiled apologetically. Sorry about that, Luke, he said. What is going on? I yelled. Oh, and that's so when Jeremy show, explained uh, everything. The next video we're going to be watching today is My Crush Spying on Me, He Saw Everything. Now, first of all, that's spelling error, though. But anyways, yeah, just, just watch it. The shyest person in the class. Boys never spoke to me. No, Always no. started sweating. Pretty ugly. It looks like an understatement. And whenever I got anywhere close to them. Honestly, I was a mess. But nobody ever realized it. People didn't notice me. Reason why I never really had any relationships. The mouth and eye animation because of my are really weird. weird in this one. You see, I always wore a beanie. Always. That's not a beanie. That's that's a freaking hood. What did the animators? <gasps> Sorry, didn't feel like not. Didn't feel like drawing a beanie or something. Even wear this beanie. Otherwise, it would ruin everything. This she freaking has a bulge down here. She has a penis. Penis. Where I lived, Look it was basically this. summer all year round. So I couldn't use the excuse that I was wearing the beanie because I was cold. So I just suffered the bullying. And the leg animations. Because there was no oh, chance of me taking off like that, that beanie and revealing my secret to everyone. Full oh, handsome. Okay, maybe not as handsome as Tony. But Tony was a hard guy to beat in terms of hotness. But this guy was still so gorgeous. With his sweet smile and those chocolate brown eyes. My knees went weak when I said hi to him. We spoke to each other for the rest of the evening. And I He's sitting on a flower bush. That I was must surprised be when Michael hell. came. His name was Marcus. Actually, and I was shocked to discover Marcus. we all had the same interests. We loved hockey, reading, and playing video games. Wait a minute, what was that? What was that? Shocked to discover we all had the same interests. We loved hockey. Oh, they're playing hockey. I thought they were reading and playing video games and watching romantic comedies we've been chatting for wait a minute what, what was that what, what are they saying in that tv show he reading and playing video games and watching romantic comedies we've been chatting for so long ah, I can't it seemed really like it was only a few minutes i found it so easy to speak to marcus a bunch of dates and marcus was so sweet by not asking too many questions about my beanie he was very considerate he okay asked so about what's going to be the once. secret about your beanie I mean, like, was there a little, you know, that, hey, that was going to make a really bad joke, me. but. Can I ask you something? Also, these sunglasses sure, are I said. Really Why do you small? always wear that beanie? Oh, Don't get me wrong, you look so cute in it. But I was just wondering, you never take it off. My face reddened. Oh, no. Reddened? It's still the same. My worst nightmare. I just noticed that it was rainbow here. I thought that was like a, a visual sure. glitch Marcus or must have noticed the look on my face because he said, Don't worry about it. It's fine. Beanie. I figured I could- Also, oh, that's the secret. She has a thing there. Back in my own bedroom. Okay, I thought then. I heard a noise outside. It sounded like someone's footstep. Blood run. He looked horrified. I yelped, and that's when I realized I wasn't wearing my beanie. So here we are, now reacting to Darman. 
So this video is student breaks nerd eyeglasses. Nerd's eyeglasses. Sorry. What happens next is shocking by Darman. Let's watch it. Who can answer this problem? How uh, about Leon? I don't like from Dang and Rope, but um, uh, I don't know. It's okay. Um, let's anybody see. else? Know Hold on. Let's see if I can solve the problem, or if I'm just a dumbass. Okay, so one. Or yeah, I'm a dumbass. I can't solve it. I don't know. It's okay. Um. I mean, the teacher must have. A... Hey, loser! Say jeez. Ah. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Make a 2008 style <laughs> meme about him? There he is. Oh look, it's Fawaz Four Eyes. Come on, I could probably make a better. That's not going to make a difference. So just the same thing to use. Really? Because he's gonna take for, get rid of your glasses. Right after I break your nerdy no! glasses. Stop! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, you can just tape them together, like use the lens. You could hold it up right next to your eye. Why did you do that? They're my only pair. <laughs> Leon, what's taking so long? Mom? What are you Actually doing here? Saw... I've been waiting outside for 15 minutes. Uh... F? No, wait. D? Uh... Oh no, he's just blind know. as shit. Uh, you can put the ocular down. So what does this mean? It means Leon's gonna have to start wearing glasses. Does anyone even make fun of people for wearing glasses the chart anymore? Now? Wow. It seems like a very cliche I 80s movie thing. And they don't look too bad on you either. Look. No, mom, please. Kids are gonna make fun of me. I can't be seen wearing these. Can anyone answer this problem? Leon, how about you try again today? So now he can't wear glasses. He's gonna fail uh, school because he can't. He doesn't know any of the problems. I, I don't know. Where are your glasses? Glasses? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, so he's your mom karma. told me you got new glasses and that you're supposed to be wearing them. It wasn't some bigger kid gonna snap them in half as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's Leon the loser. <laughs> should ever make fun of others. Five. It's 8x equals 40, so you divide the 40 by 8 for x equals Oh, no, I forgot five. all this math stuff. That's so correct. Here we are watching the SS Sniper Wolf Darman video, so. I'm just gonna skip the PS5 giveaway cuz Gamer Girl Cries on Fortnite Battle Royale. Right, Love let's it. play the video. And just call her Sam. She's not even a real gamer. <laughs> I mean I guess. I mean, let's be honest. He's supposed to be the big asshole bully or whatever, but he has a point. I mean if you saw the other one, uh she won one game of Warzone or whatever game she was playing. And now she's just a professional streamer. Yeah, and we watched you play Among Us. She's right? really not good. <laughs> oh, we did. Good, yeah, probably. I can't believe no one guessed you were the imposter. I told you it was gonna be Psycho Mantis. Oh, it's because she was using the 500 IQ strategy she learned on uh, Moist Critic. Her name's videos. Sam. And what kind of dumb name is Psycho Mantis anyway? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it is a Metal Gear Solid character. No, not Metal Gear Solid. I heard it's like a Metal Gear character or something. What is that name? But what do I know about that franchise? So who knows? It's from Metal Gear Solid. Oh yeah, I, I was think right. It's really cool. Oh, no. oh my gosh, is that the new Darman Studio hoodie? Oh, it's a self-insertion. You self probably make so much money, you can buy whatever you want. So, That's so cool. Freaking self-insertion. Uh, thanks. I. It's not even that special. Anyone, Anyone can buy that dumb merch. Fair enough. Besides, she's not even a real gamer. People only watch her videos to see Sniper Wolf. I mean, that <laughs> probably is true. Uh oh <laughs> They're gonna drive off in their car. Hey guys, today we're gonna be playing Fortnite with Sniper Wolf. Oh hey look, a video inside a video. How weird. Hello friends, it's me, and we're about to get this game started. Okay, I'm landing at that house. Cool, landing oh. at the house next to you. 
Wait a minute, Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There are a lot of comments coming. Love or right, I'm gonna read some of the comments. Drop lake. Sweet new skins. Love watching your streams. You should read some of them. And that's gonna be the hate okay. comment from that guy. You suck. Let's see. Benji98 says, love watching, watching your, your streams. streams. Sweet new skins. Oh, thanks. Okay, um that's gonna be Game you Rat Joe. Sniper Wolf, you are my favorite. Game Rat Joe 12 says, Hey, wanna be gamer 12 girl. says, Hey, wanna be gamer girl. You that really suck. suck. Well, I mean, if someone's saying you really suck can make you break down like that, you probably should get off the internet. I believe you got five kills. Wait, fuck. Thanks. They didn't even finish the game. They landed out of house. They didn't even, they opened a chest, they didn't... <laughs> huh? Oh, what happened, Psycho Mantis? Heard you had to cut your stream early last night. <laughs> I know that was you in the chat. Just please, leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to make you cry. Everyone's talking about it. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. <laughs> hey! So it's Sniper Wolf. Are you okay? Yeah. That's the kid I was telling you about. So he didn't know Sniper Wolf just outside of school on the street? He mean comments yesterday. Okay, let's go talk to him. Yeah, let's go talk to him. What? Let's, let's no pull, way. He let's pull out an AK-47 on him me? and Please? freaking blow his brains out because he said you okay. suck. If you say so. I just got this eviction notice. If we don't come up with eighteen hundred dollars by the end of today. Eviction notice that was drawn on a piece of paper with a pen. Okay. We're out. On the street. Knocking. See oh no, they're out there and they have a crowbar. Oh now they're gonna beat me up. Cause I wrote me comments. Hey, Maria. Oh. Is that dark Hi, Mr. Cornwall. Um, I need a few more days to come up with the rest of the money. Take this, please. I think that's dark. It's man. all we have, and uh, we have nowhere else to go. It's actually not why I'm here. I'm writing oh. a receipt for your eighteen hundred dollar payment. There you go. Your rent's paid in full. But I don't understand. Oh no, Psycho uh, Mantis paid the money. Uh, you might want to ask them. Sniper Wolf and, and they I split it. paid your rent. What? You did? Yeah, now we're going to beat you up with a crowbar and take our money so back. Much, both of you. I can't believe it. We also have another surprise for you. A uh, new car? Here's a thousand dollars. Oh, no, never mind. So you can get your car fixed. Close enough. Oh my god. Thank you so much, both of you. I've been praying for a miracle and I just... This is gonna change our lives. Thank you. I'll let you talk. Wow, I'm sorry I wrote mean comments right. on the internet to you. I'll see you at school tomorrow, Jordan. Bye bye. Sam? Look, I just want to say. You're sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Yup. To be honest, I was only being mean to you because I was unhappy with my own life. I had nothing to do with you. Can you please forgive me? What a coincidence. It's exactly like Sniper Wolf said it would be. Thank you so much. I'll never forget this. Hmm. So it's like, hey, okay, it's Sam. Dude, That's not did you see her. Sam's stream yesterday? It was so stupid. She doesn't even deserve to be called a real gamer. That's probably fair. Yeah, uh, I watched it. And actually, it was really good. What? Are we talking about the same Sam? 
if you're referring to Psycho Mantis, then yeah, she's one of the best gamers out there. Best gamers out there, huh? <laughs> All right, let's go. Well, I mean, when Fortnite is filled with bots that were made by Epic Games to make the game easier, how good can she really hey, be? Hey, Darman fam, I ah, that's you guys love- All right, so, uh, that's the end of my reaction to Darman and Storytime Animated. I'm sorry if it was trash. I'm not very good at reacting to things, so please don't judge too harshly, and that's enough. Alright, see ya.